ignition, engine full power, and liftoff of Crew-9, go SpaceX, go Falcon, go NASA. Blasting off Launch Pad 40 atop a Falcon 9 rocket, SpaceX Crew-9 headed for the International Space Station for a crew rotation that's become anything but normal. The vehicle is supersonic. On board, veteran astronaut Commander Nick Haig and Russian astronaut Alexander Gorbanov. Staying behind, original crew members Zena Cardman and Stephanie Wilson. I just want you to know we're going to find spots for them to fly. Their empty seats will be taken by Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams on the return flight in February. One, ignition. Wilmore and Williams have been on the space station since June, unable to return home due to problems with their Boeing Starliner spaceship, which returned home without them. Now, Williams has been named space station commander. This is my happy place. I love being up here in space. It's just fun. Williams and Wilmore are getting new spacesuits since their Boeing suits can't be used in a SpaceX ship on return. And since they trained in Boeing Starliner, they now have to learn the SpaceX systems while already in orbit. Nick Haig talked about it before blasting off today. That's going to be top priority when we get there is having that dedicated time to help them understand what they're going to need to do to operate as, as part of the Crew-9 crew. We've got a Falcon on board with us. Uh... Once in orbit, Haig introduced his own zero-G friend named Aurora as the ship's Falcon 9 booster landed perfectly back on Earth. Crew-9 docks with the space station at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time Sunday, not returning home until next February by which time Wilmore and Williams' 10-day mission will have lasted eight months. Jose? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.